Today we're installing our Anzo projector headlights on our 2012 Ford F350 Super Duty. Uh, this is Anzo part number 111292. So to get started with the installation, the first thing that you have to do on the Super Duties is you have to remove the grill. Um, this is, uh, we changed our grill a little bit. We did a billet insert here, but removing it's gonna be the same way. All you need for this is a 10 metric, uh, something to pop a push pin out with, and I just use a long screwdriver to uh, uh, to catch the catch or to un unlatch the catches on the bottom of the grill. So we're going to show you how we do that right now. First step of our installation of our Anzo lights is there's a rubber flap on the side of the grill. We've got to pop that push pin out. So we'll just use our push pin tool here and pop that out. There's four 10 metric bolts across the front of the grill. We're going to go ahead and loosen those up and remove them. With four bolts removed, this is gonna allow us to let our grill fall forward. And on the inside of the grill, here at the very bottom, and I'm gonna to point to it with my screwdriver, there are five catches that you will have to untrip to remove the grill. So what I do is I just take a long uh, flat blade screwdriver get to the clips you can see that on the video take the screwdriver just push until they pop like that once they unhook once you hear them click they are unhooked Once you've unclipped all five, the grill will simply lift out. And you can see these five clips here, 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 and there. To remove the lights, four bolts that hold the lights on. They're 10 metric, 10 metric with an extension. You should be able to get to them just fine. Uh, two in the front are the first two that I remove. You want to make sure you save your hardware here. There is one on the top here by the radiator support. We're going to remove that. Now our last bolt is going to be in the bottom of the light. They give you an access here. So what I do is I'll go ahead and remove the bolt. Then get my little Weasley fingers in there. And bring the bolt out the side. That's got enough clearance in it to get the bolt out between the bumper. So that's all of the bolts in the lights. Pull the light out. It's got one clip at the very top of it here in the corner. So I just lift up on the bottom and then usually pull straight out. A little pressure on the top and it'll come straight down here. All right. Now, electrical connectors on here. Gray one on the bottom. Black one in the middle. And then the brown one is on the top. This removes the entire headlight assembly from the, the stock headlight assembly from the Super Duty. Okay, we're installing our new lights now. So first thing, obviously, is to hook all of our wiring back up. Push it all till it clicks. Okay, 
Now setting the light back in. You've got a guide pin at the bottom here, and then obviously a guide pin at the top again. We're gonna go ahead and get those lined up. And then push till they pop in. Everything should line up well there. So now, installation is reverse of removal. We're just going to go ahead and start putting our bolts back in. Going to start with these side mounts. Don't over tighten these, don't, don't strip anything out. Your, your new expensive headlights. If everything's not lining up, pull it back out. Reline it up. Same with the driver's side light, the Magic TV. We're gonna fast forward through the removal of this light. Bolt position, everything's pretty much the same here. The only difference on this side is you've got this little cover that covers up your two interior bolts. This is your adjustment screw for your lights uh, on the Anzo lights. It's, it's on the inner part of the headlight. We want to show you this before we put our grill in. If you need to make an adjustment to the level of the light itself, you simply screw that bolt right there and it'll make adjustment. We're going to show you that in dark uh, room against the, the uh, garage door lights there. Now we're going to reinstall our grill. You just want to set this up and make sure you get all five of the clips lined up. going there you'll kind of feel them pop into place I start in the center and work my way out and then we put our other four 10 metric bolts in the top and before you start bolting this down you want to make sure that you get this flap out where you can still get to it and I'm gonna put my put my flat back in with the push pin that still gives us access to our adjustment screw down here so we're good to go there That's got our grill back in. Now what we're gonna do is turn the lights on so you can see what you've got here. Start out with just parking lights. Then daytime running lamps. or a low beam, la low beam lamp. High beam. Here's what a turn signal looks like inside of it. So this is our Anzo lamps. Now what we're going to do is we're going to uh, get the lights against a wall uh, and see where our level is uh, between the two lights and make sure we, that we've got them pretty close. So we're going to show you how to adjust your headlights now. What we did is we just pulled our truck in front of the door here and we see we've got one headlight higher than the other one. You can see this, this is on low beam. So we're going to raise this other light, the passenger side light. 
just a little bit, bring it up to meet the other light, just like so. Okay. That gives both of them about the same, should be just about right there. So that's our installation of our Anzo projector headlights uh, for our 2012 Ford Super Duty. If you have a question on this installation or, or any of our other installations, please give us a call. Thank you.